welcome back to my 52 frames journey. And this week, it's all about the most basic compositional tool, rule of thirds. And boy, did I get lucky this week. Once again, I left this photo until the last minute. And with an open topic like rule of thirds, the hardest part would probably be coming up with a concept. But he spoiled me with a beautiful bunch of flowers. And since tulips, which are my favorite if you've seen some of my previous videos, you'll know that tulips are my favorite. They were out of season. So he went with something different, bright and fun, the garbras, more commonly known for us South Africans as the Barberton daisy. And with flowers in the house, I always try to make the most of them and to use them for my photo. Just so flowers feels most of the time, and although I love flowers, don't get me wrong, but it feels like you get flowers, they look beautiful in your house, and then you have to throw them away. So if I can get a photo out of them, it just makes it a lot more worth it. So I wanted to use the opportunity and use them for a photo this week. So with a little bit of Pinterest help, I think I came up with a concept, which would be a water droplet on the flower. Obviously, the droplet on the rule of thirds. Okay, so for this experiment, well, experiment photo, I'm going to use two flowers. The one that I put the droplet on and one to put in the background just to add color and that soft pastel color. Then I've got some liquid uh, glucose and water. The reason I'm not using only water is because the water tends to run off the subject quite easily. So this is a photography hack I would say, is to you add liquid glucose to your water um, mixture and that sticks to the subject a lot better. They use it in product photography quite a bit as well since water is just a bit too runny. So this makes it a little bit sticky. So it's just a little bit. Not really a, a specific amount, just fills, just to add, like I said, that bit of stickiness. A little bit of water. Mix it up. Then I got an insulin um, needle and shot, basically, or injection, which I'll use because then you've got a lot more control of where you would like to pinpoint the um, droplet. The other thing that helps with the stickiness of the glucose is the fact that you then get time to focus on the droplet specifically. And sometimes you get that um, reflection of something in the background. I am hoping for the little pink flower to reflect in the droplet. Then I'm gonna use my trusty old IKEA lamp. So let's see how it goes. got a bluish tint to it and um, by my trusty old IKEA light which I've used in so many of my photos before has got that warm um, glow to it so by switching that on it almost gives like a sunlight kind of effect and against the white which presents more blue it gives these pastel colors which I really really love and I only focus the light on the back um, flower mostly because I want to illuminate that and then just focus on the little droplet on the rule of thirds. And the back flower only provides color to my um, photo since that is so blurry on these macro photos it's purely there for the color and nothing else. I 
especially loved using the pink for the background and the more neutral color for the foreground photo since I wanted to emphasize the color of, well not the color but the droplet itself. As well as I'm hoping if I move around the flower a little bit, within the water droplets sometimes you can see the little flower as a reflection. So I'm holding thumbs and hoping for that. Obviously, this was my chosen one. And I even managed to get my little flower reflection in the droplet. So I was super happy with this photo straight out of camera and only wanted to enhance those soft pastel colors and enhance the sharpness of all those little droplets a little bit more. There were a bit of dark spots in the flower which I wanted to brighten up just a little bit with my local adjustments. In that corner, uh, I lifted the blacks a bit to see if I can lighten that dark spot but even the de haze tool making it more hazy is really underrated for stuff like this now i wanted to play around with a few different compositions and make sure that that droplet is exactly on the rule of thirds. Strangely enough, even on the um, triangular corners, it also works, but that's more or less rule of thirds in any way. And fun fact for those Lightroom users, if you shift and O, you can jump between those different grids for your compositional tool. Then I just ended the photo with cleaning up that one dark spot on the pedal. I've once read a statement that said something in the line of, my photo never come out the way I thought. It's either better or worse. Well, this week my photo really surprised me. And for the amount of effort it felt like I won the lottery with this photo. I absolutely love it and I can't wait for it to go into a print and print it, put it up on a wall and really admire it. But I have to start and focus on my challenges ahead since I won't get this lucky again. Join me in my next video when it's all about Dubai's city lights. Thank you for watching and remember, life is better when you see it through a lens.